video, we will understand some stability terms that is center of buoyancy, TPC, FWA and DWA. So center of buoyancy is what it is the centroid of the underwater volume. What is TPC? TPC is tons per centimeter. To change the draft by one centimeter, how much cargo should be loaded. So that is known as tons per centimeter. Next is freshwater allowance. When the density of the water is changing, the ship will rise or sink more. That is known as the freshwater allowance. If you will go from salt water to fresh water, the draft will increase or vice versa. If you will come from fresh water to salt water, the vessel will rise due to the density difference. Same like freshwater allowance is the dock water allowance that when the ship is going from salt water to dock water or vice versa, what is the change in draft? That is known as the dock water allowance. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel to get the notification of the video as soon as I release it. So without wasting any more time, we will start. So what is center of buoyancy? So to understand this, we will see one sketch. So suppose this is a vessel and it is floating at some draft. So what is the, uh, suppose it is, the draft is five meters. So what its draft is five meters, then where the center of buoyancy will lie. A center of buoyancy is a point from where the upward buoyancy force is acting. For example, this is a box. The centroid of the box is, we will mark the centroid of the box first. So suppose this is one diagonal line. This is another diagonal line. And the centroid of the box is here. This is known as center of gravity. COG is center of gravity is at point G. So whatever the weight is acting, it is acting from this point in downwards direction or this force is acting due to gravity. <clears throat> Next is center of buoyancy. So to understand center of buoyancy, we should know the underwater volume. So you can see this is the underwater volume. If I will draw a straight line, this is the underwater volume of the of this vessel. So if we will mark the centroid of this underwater volume, if we will mark the centroid of this underwater volume, then this point where it is intersecting, this point is called B or we can say this is center of buoyancy. This is point B. And from this point, the upward force is acting, which we are saying B, that is the buoyancy force. So the centroid of the underwater volume is known as the center of buoyancy. And the upward force acting from that center of buoyancy is known as the buoyancy force. So this is buoyancy, buoyancy force. And what is this downward force? This is the weight of the weight of the vessel. <coughs> so this is about center of buoyancy. There is also two terms associated with this buoyancy force that is used buoyancy and other term is reserved buoyancy. So used buoyancy is what used buoyancy is what underwater volume into density and reserved buoyancy is above water volume means how much the ship is empty. So above water volume into density. So total buoyancy is total buoyancy is equals to used buoyancy plus reserved buoyancy. So this is the total buoyancy. So this you should remember. Okay. Moving forward to next concept. Next concept is TPC that is tons per centimeter. So this is the amount of cargo amount of cargo in tons to be loaded or discharged to change the draft of the vessel by one centimeter. Okay, this is the definition of TPC. That's it. So we will draw one more sketch to explain TPC. What is TPC? So we will draw one sketch. So suppose this is a vessel. Okay. Now its draft is this. Now we need to load how much tons of cargo. This is cargo in tons. Okay. So how much cargo should be loaded to ch change the draft of this ship by one centimeter. So this is one centimeter. So this is known as TPC, so TPC. To derive this TPC, so you have this diagram. So in this diagram, we have loaded, suppose weight W, okay. We have loaded weight W and the original draft of this ship was D and the new draft is D1, okay. And this distance 
or this change in draft is one centimeter okay. so initial displacement initial displacement is w then underwater volume is v then w is equals to you know uh, displacement is equals to underwater volume into density so volume into density now new displacement is how much new displacement is w plus tpc is equals to v1 new volume is v1 for the draft d1 into density is same so this is first equation and this is second equation okay this is tons so we are adding it into the displacement new displacement after that we will subtract equation one equation two minus equation one so what you will get equation two is w plus tpc minus w is equals to v into density minus v1 sorry v1 into density minus v into density so we get tpc from here and what we got that is v1 minus v into density now as we know we can write volume is equals to area into draft okay because area remains the same so tpc is equals to a into d1 minus a into d and density so this will come a into d1 minus d so a a into a common d1 minus d into density now we are taking same area we are taking area as same first of all this is a box shape vessel so we don't bother about area it will remains the same how much deep it will sink but in a ship shape vessel we cannot take the same area but here the change in draft is only one centimeter so we can ignore the area that's why we are taking the same area for calculating tpc that's the reason so area is same because for such a small change small change area will not change much area will not change much so we can we can ignore it okay <clears throat> so now tpc is equals to area now d1 minus d is how much one centimeter so how much it will be one upon 100 because we need to change it in meters into density so from here the formula will come tpc is equals to a by 100 into density okay so this is the formula for this is the formula for tpc so this you need to remember this formula is very important okay so we have derived tpc so tpc is a by 100 into density now this is in meters okay so moving forward to next concept next concept is fresh water allowance so what is fresh fresh water allowance so uh, fresh water allowance is the change in draft so it is the change in draft when the ship is going from salt water to fresh water or vice versa when the vessel is loaded to her summer displacement so this is the exact definition of freshwater allowance so i will give you one example so suppose this is a ship now she has loaded in some port at uh, which is having a fresh water so this is fresh water and density of fresh water we know it is 1.000 okay but she has to sail at sea okay and this is suppose sea okay so when she will go from fresh water to salt water it will bodily rise okay the draft will decrease okay and other way around if it is going from salt water to fresh water the draft will increase okay so now when it is coming to the ship is coming to sea water so sea water is sea water is density 1.025 so when she was in fresh water her draft was suppose uh, suppose 5.5 meters when she came to sea water draft was 5.0 meters so this also we need to take into consideration while we are loading in ports with uh, with density of water less than the salt water because as soon as we can load more so that when we are coming to the salt water we are loaded till the summer draft so
so in seawater so displacement is equals to underwater volume into density this is the basic formula so for salt water density is how much 1.025 so volume is how much underwater volume is equals to w upon density which will be equals to w upon 1.025 and same we will equate for in fresh water so fresh water is displacement is equals to v1 into density because underwater volume will change so suppose this is the in salt water it was v here it is v1 and w upon density fresh water fresh water so what equation we will get v1 is equals to w upon 1.000 the ship is going from salt water to fresh water then volume will change okay so v1 minus v this is change in volume is equals to w upon 1.000 minus w upon 1.025 so it will be w is common displacement never changes displacement remains same 1 minus 1 upon 1.025 so this we can write is equals to w into 1.025 minus 1.000 divided by 1.025 so it will be equals to 1.025 minus 1 divided by 1.025 and it will be whole w now fresh water allowance is this is change in volume change in volume so area remains same into fresh water allowance fresh water allowance is what change in draft so area will remain same and change in draft is called fresh water allowance will be equals to 0 0.025 divided by 1.025 into w so fresh water allowance is equals to 0 0.025 w upon 1.025 into area and fresh water allowance we can write 0 0.025 into w upon 1.025 into area by 100 in centimeters this is in meters so it will be equals to a by 100 into density is what this thing is what this thing is called tpc so we can write 0 0.025 into w upon tpc in centimeter so we can write this is w upon 40 tpc if you will equate this it will come 0 0.025 so if you will remove the decimal it will come 1000 so 25 into 40 is 1000 so that's why it is 1 by 40 so what we are writing this is 1 by 40 into w upon tpc in centimeters so we can say fresh water allowance is equals to w upon 40 tpc in centimeters so this formula also you need to remember this is very important formula freshwater allowance okay another term which we need to understand is the dock water allowance so dock water allowance so what is dock water allowance same like freshwater allowance if the ship is going from salt water to dock water or vice versa so that is known as the dock water allowance okay so to derive the formula for dock water we will draw one more sketch suppose this is the transverse portion of one ship so salt water draft is this one this is in salt water and in dock water the draft is this one this is in dock water so this change in draft change in draft this change in draft is called dock water allowance okay so in dock water allowance so again we will derive so w is equals to underwater volume into density this is for salt water same w will remain same and v1 is for dock water and density of dock water so change in volume is what change in volume is equals to v1 minus v which will be equals to w upon density in dock water minus w upon density in salt water so change in volume is area into dock water allowance is equals to density of sea water minus density of dock water into w upon density of dock water into density of sea water okay so dock water allowance is equals to density of salt water minus density of dock water into w upon salt density of dock water into density of salt water into a this everything is in meters for now moving forward so dock water allowance will be equals to density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water into density of salt water 
and this we write separately w upon a this is in meter sister and then dock water allowance will be equals to density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water okay into w upon a into density of salt water this is still in meters again the dock water allowance will be equals to density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water multiplied by w upon a into 1.025 this is density of salt water we are replacing here and we are dividing it by 100 to change it in centimeters so it will be density of salt water or density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water this will remain same and this term we can write w upon tpc a by 100 into density is tpc so this is in centimeters now fresh water allowance is what we know fresh water allowance is equals to w upon 40 tpc this we just now seen so w upon tpc can be replaced as 40 into fwa okay we transfer 40 here so we will replace this this in this equation so it will come dock water allowance will be equals to density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water okay multiply 40 into fwa this is in centimeters so dock water allowance will be equals to dock water allowance will be equals to 40 into fwa that is fresh water allowance density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water here in centimeters so we will finally conclude this formula that dock water allowance is 40 fwa density of salt water minus density of dock water divided by density of dock water in centimeters so this is the formula for dock water allowance this is dock water allowance so i hope these concepts are clear in further videos we will solve questions related to freshwater allowance dock water allowance center of buoyancy tpc so these are very useful terms to be used in stability that's all for this lecture please like subscribe and share the video thank you very much for watching stay tuned